God our protector, just be still and know that he is God. Psalm 46 talks about the glory of God. It is a psalm that believers can use for spiritual warfare. And in this psalm, God assures us of security, protection, and that he fights for us. Here, the psalmist is talking about God's characteristics and his attributes. We are given a summary of who God is in believers' lives and also what he can do for us. He wants us to know and understand that he is the God of Jacob, the fountain of power, wisdom, justice, goodness, and truth. He is Elohim, the living God. He is our refuge. He is the triune God, meaning he is God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son. If the enemy wants to attack you, he has to go through all three to get to you. The psalmist wanted the children of God to know that the Lord is God. This chapter starts by telling us who God is, that he is our refuge and our strength, and he is a very present help in trouble. Now, a refuge is a place that provides shelter and protection. While it's nice to find a refuge from a storm, the storms of life are not only limited to weather, but there are all kinds of life difficulties and troubles that are in the world, from human cruelty, war, and loss of loved ones, recessions, the loss of a job, the breakdown of a marriage, and many more. Psalm 46.1 also says, He is our strength, meaning power and ability is in God. And this is why he says in 2 Corinthians 12.9, My strength is made perfect in weakness. This means that when we are weak, when we are helpless, when we can't defend ourselves, God's strength is enhanced, and he steps in and fights on our behalf and comforts us. The Bible says that God is a very present help in trouble or in distress. This means he is always present with us. The Lord of hosts is with us. He is called Emmanuel, God with us. He neither leaves us nor forsakes us. He is ever present with us. He has been found and has been tried and proved to be faithful. He is a God who never withdraws himself from the afflicted. He is a friend indeed. Proverbs 18.24 describes him as a friend who sticks closer than a brother. That's our God. With God as our refuge, we need not fear. Verse 2 of Psalm 46 says, even though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, our souls can find rest in God and in God alone. God has secured the souls of the believers in his son Jesus Christ. When we are facing struggles and storms, we need to know that God is God and that the creator of the universe cares about our day-to-day -day life and daily struggles, and he is in them with us. Psalm 34, 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. The Lord God Almighty sees our afflictions and our struggles, and he comes to rescue us. He says in Isaiah 43, from verse 1, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you, for I am the Lord your God. Therefore know this, child of God, that you are loved, you are cared for, and that he will do anything and everything to protect you, for he is the defender of God's elect. The psalmist emphasizes that the Lord is our refuge, our strength, and our stronghold. He repeated it twice, and more importantly, he said that the Lord of the hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Now, this God of Jacob is an omniscient God, meaning he is the all-knowing God. Nothing takes him by surprise, not even situations which befall us or trouble us that we may go through. He is the omnipresent God, the God who is the universally present, the omnipotent God who is all-powerful, holy, faithful, and sovereign, and besides him there is no other. He is higher than all else and is able to rule above all. He is the supreme God. 
Let us jump on to verse 10, which says, Be still, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Now this verse gives comfort to us and others. Be still is a command as well as an exhortation given to us believers, you and me. It encourages us as children of God to reflect on who God is. It is calling on you to take time and reflect on who God is in your life. Who do you belong to and who do you trust in? Psalm 20 says, Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but as for us, we will remember the name of the Lord our God. So whatever you are going through, know that you belong to God and he is forever watching over you to protect you. Verse 10 says, Be still, cease striving, stop fighting, just be still. The next command is no. In other words, it is saying, acknowledge who I am in your life, that I am your redeemer, your deliverer, and I am the one who fights your battles. Acknowledge that. As children of God, we need to interpret this command for ourselves in that what God is saying is, we should read this and stop fearing and then acknowledge who God is and trust in him. You need to say to yourself, whatever I am going through, I just need to know that I need to be still and know that he is God, that God is God. I need to stop fighting. I need to stop stressing about the battle, that in the struggle that I'm going through, I am a child of God. I need to know that God is my strength and my refuge, and there is nothing to fear or to worry about. I need to know and believe that God will fight my battles, that God will deal with my enemies. So all I need to do is step back and let God do the fighting. I need to be patient. I need to be still and let him do his work. As a child of God, I know one thing, that God has got good plans for you. And all you need to do is to be still and know that the Lord is God and that he will reveal his plans concerning your life at the right time. Yes, problems may arise. Plans may seem to have been delayed, but know one thing, that God is never late. He is always on time. Just be still and know that he will show up and be strong on your behalf. Know that as a believer, you are a soldier of the cross. Count yourself safe and make yourself strong in the Lord. Do not forget the personal possessive word when making your declaration. God is my refuge, because all other refuges are refuges of lies. All other strength is not strength at all, for all power and strength belong to God. He is the all-sufficient God, a very present help in trouble and distress. We belong to the God who specializes in miracles, just like what he did with Moses and the Israelites at the Red Sea. All they did was stand still, and they saw the salvation of their God, the Lord, strong and mighty in battle.